Hello everyone. Welcome to Advanced Real World Hacking with Practical Videos course. I'm your course instructor Snail, and in this video we will learn how to set up the environment for Kali Linux machine using Oracle VirtualBox virtualization software. In order to begin, we need to obtain two files. One is the Kali Linux distribution, which can be obtained from official Kali Linux website. Another is VirtualBox software, which you can obtain from VirtualBox official website. Let us quickly see how to obtain both of these files and continue. Go to Google, type in VirtualBox, and you can find it in the VirtualBox official website. On the VirtualBox website, go to download section. Here is the latest version of VirtualBox for Windows host. You can click here and download the software for you. I'm not going to download it as I've already downloaded it for me. Another piece of software which is required for setup is Kali Linux distribution, which you can obtain from Kali Linux official website. Go to Kali.org, go to download section. This is the Kali Linux image repository. You can download either 64-bit or 32-bit, depends on your requirement. You can either do a direct download or torrent download. All we need is an ISO file. I've already downloaded the file. At this point, I'm assuming that you have successfully downloaded the VirtualBox software and have installed it successfully. Now let's see how to create a Kali Linux virtual machine in VirtualBox software. Go to Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on New. Type in the virtual machine you want to have. In this scenario, we'll, we would like to have Kali. Type will be Linux. Version will be Debian 64-bit. Next. You can assign the RAM here. I'll assign it to 2GB. It depends on the amount of RAM you have available on your base machine. My base machine has somewhere around 8 GB of RAM, so I have the privilege to use 2 GB of RAM for this virtual machine. Do next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Create. Check in virtual hard disk option here. Next. Make sure dynamically allocated is checked here. Next. And create. We're almost done. Couple of more settings are required. Go to settings. Go to storage. On the controller IDE section, click on add optical drive. Now choose disk. This is the ISO file that you have recently downloaded the Kali Linux ISO file. So you will point to that file. Now we'll go to the network. It is an important aspect. You can either choose to be attached as NAT or a bridged. In case you want to appear as another machine in the network, you can choose the bridge adapter. I'll choose the bridge adapter. At this point, everything is set and we are ready to fire up the Kali Linux machine. Before we fire the machine with the latest version of VirtualBox, some problem has been observed when using the bridge adapter setting which can be resolved using some simple steps. The problem usually appears in Windows 7 machine. If you're using Windows 7 machine, 
then with the latest version of VirtualBox you might need to make these changes re uninstall the VirtualBox and reinstall it using the following steps open the command prompt go to the directory where VirtualBox is downloaded which means if we have opened the command prompt you need to go to cd users admin or whatever username you have and go to the download section or to the directory we have where you have downloaded the virtual box and then type in virtual box hit tab it will choose the correct version of virtual box you have downloaded and then you need to supply this parameter and again network type is called to ndi s5 and hit enter the installation will begin and after that on Windows machine with the latest version of VirtualBox the bridge networking should work fine. Now let's start up the Kali Linux machine. It will take around a minute. start the virtual machine now there are multiple options available here in the boot menu you can choose to install the Kali Linux machine or you can choose to work with the live distribution I'll go with the live demos the distribution for the demo purpose We're almost there. There we are. Open the terminal, type in if config. And you're connected to the bridged adapter and you have this IP address assigned to you. I hope you will not face any difficulty while creating the virtual machine for you. In case you feel any difficulty or face any difficulty, I'm open for questions and comments. Thank you for taking this course.